and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Jeskai Holding. This is a new donation deck that we're going to be playing here on our Rotation Proof Monday. Now, as you can tell, this is not a Rotation Proof deck. This is a donation deck, uh, the, a viewer submitted deck that we're going to be doing first. But then after this, we're going to be playing some donation decks. Um, we may not have, we may not be playing all three of these decks. We may be switching it up, actually, these ones on the side. So uh, don't worry about that. But uh, let's take a look at our deck. So what we have here is we have a Bag of Holding deck. All right, so if you don't know about Bag of Holding, a uh, one mana artifact, whenever you discard a card, you exile that card from your graveyard, and you can pay two and tap it, draw a card, then discard a card. So you can just pay two to loot, and you can pay four and sacrifice the bag and return all the cards that were exiled with bag of holding back to their, owner, their owner's hand. So basically, when you have bag of holding in play, every card that you discard goes into the bag, and then you can pay for and sacrifice the bag and put all those cards back into your hand. So we're playing like, so in order to take advantage of this, we're playing like a regular Jeskai control deck. They can see here, but we have this um, instant over here, Heartwarming Redemption, that just says discard all of the, whoops, sorry, discard all of the cards in your hand, then draw that many cards plus one, and you gain life equal to the cards in your hand. So. You know that that life is is not nothing. You know, like you're gonna that life can help you stay alive since you're a control deck. But you know, you get to just um, discard all your cards, draw that many cards plus one, so you do draw one total card. And if you have the bag of holding in play, it's a really nice combination where you can then sacrifice the bag of holding and put all those cards back into your hand. So it can turn into a really big card draw spell. <clears throat> Heartwarming Redemption is instant speed also, which is really nice. You know, you can do that end step and you know with your mana and you can untap and use your mana to sacrifice bag of holding. But yeah, it's a it's a nice combination that I have not played it yet myself, and so I'm excited to put those together and see how it goes. Looking at the deck, I, I am really concerned about our two mana slot. Usually we want um good interaction at two mana. Um so I'm I'm thinking that we're gonna regret not having like baffling end. In this deck but to make up for that we do have like the best cheap sweeper in the format with deafening clarion which is just an awesome card and we also have a whole bunch of settle the wreckages and the reason why we're playing settles is because it's a four mana instant to go along with our heartwarming redemption which is also a four mana instant so we can hold that mana up and do either one so we'll see if that that's enough um, and then, you know, we have other enchantment removal that can hit Planeswalkers as well, where Baffling End wouldn't be able to with Prison Realm and Ixalan's Binding. And also hit bigger creatures like Golos and Yurok and Cavalier Thorns, some important ones to hit. All right, so that's our deck. Let's give this a try. We're mostly all red-white, as you can tell. We're kind of splashing blue for a couple counter spells and a couple good Planeswalkers. Um... But yeah, here we go. Just guy holding. All right, with donation decks, we're going to play them through a league. And see if we can get to five wins before two losses. How does how do we win the game? We have Sarkin. They can turn all of our Planeswalkers into 4-4 four, four Flyers and attack our opponent. Or, yeah, we have Chandra that can give our opponent emblems um, and win that way as well. Those are our win conditions. Hey, what's up? Sorry. Okay. I think this is going to be a keep. We need to draw a red source, but Bag of Holding should help us out. That's not a good draw. We do have 26 lands as well. So a little more confident keeping a spell-heavy hand with a land-heavy deck. This would be a perfect time to Clarion. Wow, what a draw step, Hawkeye. What a draw step. That is the perfect time to Clarion.
Not a bad time to Clarion again, honestly. I don't want to just like play Narset and then they start growing this thing and it gets out of gets out of hand, you know, they play whatever spell that gains life. Hey, Saza. Yeah, I've seen the Eldrain previews. The set's looking really strong right now. I was so, I know I took a little while here. I was really considering of just act just activating Bag of Holding. Because Narset doesn't help you hit lands if we, need, if we want to hit that fifth land. <clears throat> but Sarkin isn't really spectacular. To play right now, anyway. Like, you know, the circuit, like the dragon, doesn't block Knight of the Ebon Legion particularly well. So I'm just cycling Narset. All right, that's not bad. Because they could have just paid three mana and activated Knight of the Ebon Legion and killed Narset that way. So I don't, I don't mind Narset actually uh, trading with a card. I would like to keep that. We haven't used our bag yet. Probably just use it. Impossible. <laughs> I guess Sarkin's pretty mad about being put into a bag. Sarkin's like, that's impossible. You can't stuff me into a bag. That's impossible. Feel the heat of my flames. Behold. So yeah, Jack Noli, right now you're subscribed right now, so you can't you can't use the Twitch Prime sub until your sub goes away. But so it probably just it just won't even let you. Yeah, the reason why I played Chandra over Sarkin is because if they if this spell was another removal spell, like a Conclave Tribunal or something, I'd rather them use it on the Sarkin since I have a backup Sarkin. I summon you. Sarkin's uh, passive ability also means that they're Banehound. Ah, oh, I guess that's a card. Their Bane Hound wouldn't be able to attack. Um, question is, where do I buy my clothes? I got a lot of my clothes at Kohl's, actually, but to be honest, it's, it's been a long time since I bought new clothes. I haven't gotten new clothes in a, in a while. If you haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet. Aww, looks like someone's it's most of my clothes I mostly like buy online though, like Kohl's online or just other places online. Do most of my, I did most of my clothes shopping online. Yeah, Questing Beast looks really, you really, you got it. really strong. Let's get toasty.
Put more stuff in the bag. All right, Sarkin, you can go hang out on an island in the bag. Right on schedule. I don't have anything for you to do. Let's try this. I don't really want to bounce Conclave Tribunal and let them Conclave Tribunal to Chandra. <laughs> what? That's not how Angel of Grace. Like what? So they just. Reset their life total to 10 when they're at 20. Just paid 6 mana to lose 10 life. Alright, so I think the scariest things that my opponent can play are like a Johnny's Pride Mate. And the scariest things we saw were a Johnny's Pride Mate and the 2-3 Vampire that could grow really big also. So they could grow with those things, but I don't. We didn't see like anything. I need a Dobin's veto or a syncopate. Like we don't need those here. I just want to have the removal. I want the hard removal. So we're gonna bring in a binding, a Nova. So like devout decree gets rid of like the the two three. Fry gets rid of a Johnny's pride mate. If it's early. Um, I'll play the fry, I guess. Okay. Well, 26 land deck again. It was game one. And we got there. It still is here for game two. All right, I guess our opponent didn't want to play game number two. All right, GG's. All right, let's see if we get to do some more stuff with Bag of Holding. Let's see if we get like the heartwarming redemption combo here this time. Hey Rex, good afternoon. Okay. We're going to be able to remove stuff. Aw, thanks, Chainsmokers. Glad you're loving the stream. Thank you so much. All right, so it looks like our opponent probably has, like, an opt, I guess. You know, because they have something they can play, because otherwise it would just automatically pass. So they probably have an opt, would be my guess. They could have... I guess... They put, actually, it's probably the 1-1 one, one creature, now that I think about it. Because they're probably playing the Sky deck. Nope, it's opt. And say, like, where... Uh, maybe they were sitting there thinking about playing, like, one of the other 1-drops. Or doing the instant speed one. Yeah, Sailor. Hey, Felminar. Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, Mono Red Cavalcade is probably a good deck. Like, that's probably what the new standard event's all about, is that deck. 
I didn't realize it was best of one, to be honest. So I'm going to have to change my, my whole plan for today. My plan for today was to play, you know, these those three decks on the left-hand side that we would, that, like, rotation-proof decks that we had played before that I wanted to see how they would do in, like, the the metagame of, like, only playing against, uh, uh, only playing against... Present and future are bound other decks like that, but it's best of one, and I'm not interested in playing best of one. So I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to audible here. Put thoughtfulness before action. So this is a tough call. I was talking and stuff, but this is a tough call. So our opponent's playing a Phoenix deck. Uh, Narset is amazing against the Phoenix deck because they have so many cards like these charter courses and everything that just say draw cards. And therefore, um, you really don't want Narset to die. And so having Narset at 5 loyalty is a lot more valuable than Narset at 3 or 1 loyalty because of their red burn spells or like how they deal with Narset. An open mind. Um. But with that being said, my hand had kind of nothing in it, and so I went ahead and minus Narset, and I'm glad we found another one, so if they kill this one, we can replay another one, but... So unfortunately, we put a lot of good cards down to the bottom. Narset down. Such violence is upsetting. So the big question is to if is if I replay another Narset now or just hold up settle the wreckage. Alright, we're gonna replay another Narset. Mind and body should move in unison, like wind and wave. Yeah, I still just minus. I wish I had other things I didn't have to minus. Narset minus reveal settle the wreckage is always a little awkward. I do need to keep more cards in hand though. I when I was playing, you know, I wasn't really considering keeping a bunch of cards in hand, but I do need to keep cards in hand. So yeah, they're... They're... <laughs> they're just not even... Yeah, I guess, I guess they thought they could Radical Idea from their graveyard also to get Phoenix back, but... Yeah, you see how good Narset is, how Narset just shuts them down. So we were pretty fortunate they didn't have any, like, 3 damage burn spells. Our removal suite again in this matchup is awesome. All these prison realms, Ixalan's binding, settles, like these cards are awesome in this matchup. Same with Chandra, just all the exile. That's all we want is exile. I don't really like Clarion. I think I'd rather have Fry than Clarion. Even though Clarion can get multiple. Phoenixes. 
All right, I like all these things. So I don't really like Sarkin. Now we're at 62. I don't know, Sarkin's like not bad. Is it Teferi? Teferi doesn't really minus on anything. Maybe it's just Teferi actually. The passive ability really only stops um, it, if they're going to have counter magic, it stops that, and then it stops with the red finale. Um, maybe we can just take out Bag this matchup. Let's split the difference. Let's go two and two. We are a bag of holding deck. Uh, I need a second bag in here. Oh, why did I take out the heartwarming redemption? Get that back in here. Are you kidding me? It said it still said 15 seconds. It was just lagging so bad. Ugh, that's rough. I don't think I sideboarded. I think it went away. Yeah, it was just lagging really bad there. Unfortunate. Yeah, the new green mythic is insane. It's very, very good. Just from what we've seen, it looks like Throne of Eldraine is going to have a big impact on Standard. That's kind of exactly what we'd expect, though. So our, our hand's still good. The Bag of Holding is really nice here of being able to loot through extra lands as well. I think I can just take another hit here. But as you can see, you can see why I wanted to replace Stephanie and Clarion with Fry. I think Fry's a... going to be more useful. I'm going to be casting this card here.
No draw two. I'm tired of taking damage against the burn spell deck. That's fine. But yeah, Fry would have been much, much better than Clarion. We'll get that after sideboard. I think... Ixon's Binding is a more important removal spell than Deafening Clarion, so I don't I don't mind having Clarion get negated. We're gonna have to get the negate out of their hand anyway. Good. Now all the crackling drakes are gone. It's a lot of lot of spells in a row for us. Um, obviously, if I knew that we were going to be drawing this many spells in a row, I would, would not have discarded that sacred foundry. But it was a little unlucky. No! Oh, that's a misclick. I was trying to cast this card. It's a misclick. I must train harder. Oh, these red white cards right next to each other. A dragon would rather die than lose. Yeah, there are two Evolving Wilds in the deck, I think. Yeah, there are two Evolving Wilds with the, the three basics. At least that life gain that we get with Heartwarming Redemption. That's six life. That could definitely save us. Can could come in clutch. Could just do it again and gain six life again. These cards aren't helping. All right, we're in trouble. It's 
So we can pay four mana to put all the cards back into our hand. So we can get these seven cards. You know, we can draw these seven for four mana. So that includes the Deafening Clarion that can take out both of these. The problem is if we do, if we try that and then it gets countered, the Clarion gets countered, we just lose the game on the spot. I'm known for my excellent timing. I should have waited it. I've got it. Eh. I'm gonna play another one. I, I really didn't want to play the Ixalan's Binding. Trust on Electromancer. You'll thank me later. You know, I know it shut down the other one, but. They keep Teferi in play. We know we don't have to worry about a counter spell. We just go grab Clarion. And Interplanar Beacon helping us staying alive. Thanks, Rain Loss. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Well, darn. Guess they could have a counter spell now. Hooray. Wait, I don't have the mana for that. All right, new bag. All right, Sacred Foundry's gone, and I guess it's Clifftop Retreat. I like the rest of these cards, but I guess I guess it's got to be Clifftop Retreat. It's either that or like Prison Realm. Thanks, Henrik, or Henrik, Henrik, probably Henrik. There we go. Thank you. All right, we got Dovin's Veto to protect Narset. Narset gets us back up to seven. We can hold up, settle the wreckage. All right, so I almost messed that one up. But thankfully, it looks like our opponent didn't have too much in there going on in their hand over there. But yeah, Heartwarming Redemption plus the bag of holding, that was pretty sweet. And the the underrated part of Heartwarming Redemption is probably just the the life gain. Like that's probably like the really underrated part. And that life gain really saved us. You know, like as you saw there, we we went down to four, we won the game at six. But we gained six life from that heartwarming redemption. If didn't have that life gain, we would have died. I haven't syncopated a spell in a real long time. I feel like syncopating something. Oh, I bet I bet you're right. I bet you're right. I bet I bet my opponent did have like like two crackling drakes in hand. I bet that's what they had. But the the binding got him. I bet you're right. So, <clears throat> bag of holding with settle wreckage is pretty nice, because we're gonna like draw a card and then put like settle wreckage in the in the uh, under the bag, and then like the rest of the game, my opponent's probably gonna like have to try to play around settle. We can like 
you know, hold up settle mana. And then my opponent's going to have to be like, ugh, I have to play around settle. They're, they're definitely playing settle because there's one right over there in that bag. And we're going to be like, yep, got to play around settle. gonna get all the wild growth walkers out of here for good the decks that play wild growth walker are usually playing like command the dread horde or things like where wild growth walker is really valuable Unfortunate. Got the wild growth over there. Yeah, our deck's not great against Assassin's Trophy. That's just kind of how it is. All right, I feel like I wasted that first Exxon's Binding on the Wild Growth Walker. I feel like getting rid of Tamios and Nissas for good are much more valuable. So no, I wish I would have just Prison Realmed. I can help you no longer. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I really want Sarkin. I feel like Sarkin's gonna help turn on my like. I, I feel like my opponent's gonna have like Cast Down or Legion's End, something like that, to really efficiently deal with the Sarkin. Well, I've never seen these. I've never seen this pattern before with the uh, artifacts and enchantments. Hey, Yager. Yep, called it. Circa, not good. Thirty-two months. Thanks so much, Yager. Thank you. Yeah, I am. I am not somebody who's ever, who's basically ever in the 
There is no peace uh, in defeat. The Sarkin camp. Next turn we'll be able to hold up settle and loot with the bag of holding. That's a perfect time to find Legion's End right there. Good to just put that to the bottom. I really should have seen that coming. Yeah, it's basically the beginning. Thirty two months. Yeah, I, I I think my opponent is watching the stream as well. I think that's why we saw turn three, Wow Growth Walker, and then Jade Light the turn like the other turn we had two two mana for syncopate up. Yep. That's, how, that's just how it goes, though. Sometimes when you're a streamer, sometimes your opponents watch your match. I don't... I mean, people just... Some people just care more about winning than actually, you know, uh, playing a fair match and improving and, and learning and stuff like that. They'd rather cheat, but it's just how it goes.
mean, it could be they just drew Wild Growth Walker on turn three, though. And they were planning on playing Jade Light Ranger on turn three, but they, you know, their hand had like two Jade Lights and they just drew. Um, and they just drew Wild Growth instead. Could be that. Hone your prowess. I definitely considered um definitely considered Sorry, just taking the other Teferi. I'll protect you. Play this bag of holding. How does it even work when you have two bag of holdings in play? How does that even work whenever you discard a card? I guess they the triggers just stack and you basically get to choose which one it goes to. Yeah, th this is a donation deck. This isn't a ro rotation proof deck. So this time my my settle is is definitely revealed. So are they just is my opponent like trying to make a point that they're not watching the stream now? Or something? But like it's my settle's revealed. Yeah, I haven't played the new event, but I would kind of assume it's just a whole lot of red calamity and like Rakdos aggro and maybe like Azorius Flyers, just a whole bunch of aggro. Yeah, they could be deciding how many how many lands they want. They're playing a lot of um Okay, so that's all their basics. I say they're playing a lot of basics with the islands out there. Does that make sense? That's more like it. Trophying the binding on the Tamio. Hey, Hammy. You would make an excellent Welcome. informant for my study. Well, that's the worst possible draw step that we could see from our opponent. Trophy's probably going to win our opponent the game. And because of that evolving wild, I don't have a basic because of that evolving wilds, but. 
that's really, really bad news for me because they just get to keep on getting trophy back for these Tamios. No that was certainly their card they needed to draw. Evolving Wilds is not very good. It's it's really not. It's not necessary. There's enough dual lands and everything. I just want to make sure that my auto tap doesn't mess this up. You can duplicate your rock with quasi-duplicate, but I would not recommend it. Uh, you would make another legendary copy and with uh, with with them being legendary I got this it would not work too well for you Yeah, you want to use like Spark Double instead. Together, we will prevail. I was really hoping my opponent was going to cast that Assassin's Trophy on my end step, which is why I did not play Back of Holding. But they did not. I was really hoping I was going to be able to syncopate that. But they didn't. Bag's been doing pretty good for us. We've seen the problem of enchantment removal, though. Hmm. Assassin's Trophy won, certainly won this game. Had this locked down pretty well besides Assassin's Trophy. And kind of the problem with Syncopate, instead of playing like Dovin's Veto, like an, you know, like a, a real, or like a, a spell that could actually counter stuff. So a lot of times, syncopate doesn't actually counter things. All right, well, my... My opponent's just playing a huge crisis here. So they can get 14. May pass the turn if they don't. If they're not Fight careful. The hmm. They figured it out. I have reached my limit. They were just a couple of seconds away from having their turn passed.
This is gonna be tough for us. Assassin's Trophy matches up really, really well with the 75 that I'm playing. I, d I don't know what I'm doing in the sideboard to, to beat Assassin's Trophy, honestly. So we're going to need to find um, we're going to need to find like Clarion. We don't have very much removal left. Like we we're, we're really dead. That um they have more trophies. That Assassin's Trophy. This is looking all good until they, they drew Assassin's Trophy. Hey, Gustavo. I'm doing very good. I hope life was still treating you well. And... Yeah, glad to have you back here. Alright, so getting rid of this card... So we have Honor Guards in our sideboard, so let's just go ahead and play them since they're in our sideboard. Um, they don't really work with Deafening Clarion too well. Sarkin looked horrible last game, but Sarkin's usually better. You know, it was just... It was just a five mana dead card last game, but it's usually better. I think it just gained a little bit of life. Usually better post board if they take out removal though. But game one, it's really bad because it turns on their cast downs and legions ends and stuff like that. It's just going to be so hard to beat Assassin's Trophy, to be honest. All right, let's give this a try. Yes, I could have countered Assassin's Trophy with Dovin's Veto, but they still had their Tamiyo could just get back. Like, that taps me out. Tamiyo gets back Assassin's Trophy. Um, and then they Assassin's Trophy that thing again, and then the Nis then they still have their... Then the Nissa is lethal. So, y yes, I could have showed my opponent Dovin's Veto, but that was just putting us dead on board still, so I conceded. 
All right, we don't really like having the island in hand because of trophy. We want to have our basics in our deck. Um, yeah, Sarkin and um, Sarkin and Chandra are the ways we win. Not allowing the explore creatures to explore really is important. It's worth a good amount of cards, so I do like this honor guard here. The problem is, of course, Deafening Clarion being our removal spell. What did we what did we play game one that my opponent wants to unmoored ego? Usually against the Jeskai deck you would name Big Teferi, so if they're not watching the stream, they'll probably name Big Teferi. Our deck is just relying on Chandra, Big Chandra to win, so if they just name Big Chandra, which we didn't play at all last game, then we know that they're watching the stream. Sarkin makes sense for just, I guess, for yet last game, the Sarkin was the only win con that my opponent saw. So that makes sense for just, like, how last game played. I, side I sideboarded out Sarkin. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I don't have any Sarkins in my deck anyway. But yeah, I think I think they timed out. But I think I... Didn't I sideboard out Sarkins? I don't think I have any in my deck. I could be wrong. They could be, could be they just timed out. No, not a basic. I want that Heartwarming Redemption card. Heartwarming Redemption would be sweet. Honor Guard is going to rotate out, yes. Yep, we're almost there after Wizard. Almost up to 9,000 subs on YouTube. They kept Legion's End in. That seems like a, a good choice against the control deck that didn't play a single creature to keep Legion's End in post sideboard. Seems like a really good choice. That seems like a vital card to have. Sure, a deck that's bringing in unmoored ego and has nothing else better to play besides Legion's End in the 75. If we win game two here, I think we just win on time, honestly, for how slow our opponent's playing. <laughs> yeah, I know. I get I get more sassy when my opponents just sit there and are not doing stuff forever.
Yeah, my, my opponent named Sarkin. All right, we don't actually have a... Oh, right, I haven't, I haven't played Heartwarming Redemption without a bag of holding. I guess we don't actually have a bag of holding in play. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. So it, I will just be discarding action. like all of these cards that are pretty useful. I probably don't want to do that. I was not prepared for this. I should have kept that. I don't know. The, the beacons are like my best land, though, with the life gain. It's like other lands I want to keep in hand, but beacons are like the best land. Hey, Caesar. Not in the in the main or like in the deck right now. There's one cleansing nova in the sideboard. I didn't bring it in though. No, I haven't played five color niv recently. It's been probably a month, I would guess, since I played it. That would be my that would be my guess. I think they timed out last time. We'll see if they time out again. <laughs> Thanks, Caesar. Yeah, that chance for glory kill was really awesome. There with that with the the Jeskai hero deck from yesterday. That was really cool. As long as I'm enjoying a deck that's good, even if it's not super meta, and I'm not winning all my games, is that okay? Yes, absolutely. You should be playing whatever you enjoy, so yes. I will I'll the give you a hint. World. Even if you start playing a meta deck, or you know, a, a super meta deck, as you called it, you are not going to win all of your games, either. So that's okay. Hey, Candice. Yep, sure is, Candice. Uh, every, the only donation deck I have on the books right now is yours on Friday. So every other slot everywhere else is open. Like the phases of the moon. <laughs> if you want to win all your like games. A super meta deck isn't good enough. You gotta go with a mega meta deck. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what you gotta do. You gotta go mega meta. Abzan deck with Tristani and Wishclaw Talisman. That those two don't work. Oh yeah. Oh never mind. Somebody else told you. The way to 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 break Wishclaw Talisman. Which if if you don't know what Wishclaw Talisman is, it is a.
One in a black artifact. ETBs with three wish counters on it. You pay one, tap, remove a wish counter from it, and you search your library for a card, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library, and then an opponent gains control of Wish Claw Talisman. You can only activate it during your turn. So the way to the way to get it, or the way to really do it is is you activate it, it taps it, it's tapped, and it's also your turn, so your opponent can't activate it anyway. But then you play a card that a really um, you play like this card that like is really out there that that nobody plays at all. Um, it's called Teferi. And then you use your Teferi and you bounce your Wish Claw Talus, bounce it back to your hands. You put it back in your hand afterwards. And then they don't get it. So you, you do have to play Teferi, a card that is pretty useless that nobody puts in any deck ever. So you do have to put that in, into your deck. But if you're willing, willing to put that really low-powered card into your deck... then maybe you can get some some advantage. I guess I should have played one of these two lands because I guess I don't have enough white sources for these two cards. Both. Uh, yes, Kendis, got it. So, Jeskai Hero, again on Saturday. I think you will Perfect. Find my notes helpful. Yep, so we'll have Naya Feather for Friday, Jeskai Hero for Saturday. Perfect, looks great. Thanks, Kendis. When the land speaks, I shall listen. Do y'all think my opponent's gonna kill me in six minutes? Hey, crazy support. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. All right, we got half. We got 13 of our lands out of here. <clears throat> yeah, Ashiok also works really well. Wait. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Darn. I wish we played like a bolt or something. Wish we played a shock. Okay, yeah. I think the, the Cavalcade of Calamity deck's really good. Um, basically, these ones here, also. And then I really liked Chandra Tribal. And Sultai Lands, I updated it. Um, and so I like I like how the, the, the Sultai Lands is updated. You can um, hit exclamation point decks, also. However, I don't know if they're the best and best of one for like that event. For the best of one for that event, I'm, I would guessing a uh, cavalcade is like kind of the way to go <laughs> the beacons are lit gondor calls her aid i have learned much hey what's up surf and that was the most boring match i've ever played I 
kind of took forever. All right, we're two and one. Yeah, Cavalcade might be able to use that that uh, mythic rare that was just previewed today, Ember Cleave. That card looks really cool. Six mana flash equipment. Costs one less to cast for each attacking creature you control. So especially if you like activate Chandra zero, get to attack with two creatures there. You have like two other creatures out you get to attack with. Um So that that would make Ember Cleave only cost two mana. You're tagging with four things. And then whenever it ETBs, you get to just attach it immediately. And equip creature gets plus one, plus one, and has double strike and trample. It's a good card. It's a good card. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Spitfire with Double Strike. Yeah, Double Strike, Trample, Spitfire. Let's slow this down. No, I am not making this up as I go. Savage Gorger. At the beginning of your end step, if an opponent lost life, put a counter on Savage Gorger. Trust me, I have a plan. Our deck looks a lot better when we have Bag of Holding. I like that card a lot. Or at least, you know, it gets... It definitely feels better to have Bag of Holding than not have Bag of Holding for how uh, this is, these have been these last few games have been going. When enchanted creature dies, return it back to its owner's hand. Now Interesting. What? Might be a bad idea. Yay, land. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, there you go. Meth yeah. Get the, the double strike artifact equipped to a Thief of Sanity. Get the double strike on Thief of Sanity. That's a good call right there. That's awesome, Kenpachi. Good job. It's only there you go. You're 6 0 right now. Sultai Treachery. Glad to hear. We begin. Yeah, I think Your I think Mono Red at Cavalcade arrived. is what I would recommend for the XP grinding for the event. I can go look for the deck list that I had. Just going to be the the fastest one for if for people that want to grind XP. Also, poor opponent. There's black pump spells. That's a card. Come on. I will 
consume you. <laughs> Watch this. There's that that list. Um, certainly possible lava coil should be in the main instead of heart fire. Uh, heart fire wasn't spectacular for us before. All right, I just want to do my combo. I know playing a Chandra's better, but I'm doing my combo. Yay! See, that was fun. I'm sorry, friend. Ugh, reduced to embers. We'll get Chandra back I next turn. We won't be able to play it next turn, but we'll get it back next turn. All right, we're three and one. Okay, I play Skewer the Critics over Heartfire. That works too. Yeah. So that with Skewer should. Whoops. Here, I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a new one because yeah, we we got a lot of people who keep asking about what deck to play for that so i'm gonna make I'm gonna make a new deck list here so instead of heart fire oh no i don't know i don't know skewer the critics number and everything i don't, I don't know if i need the the number though Okay. Is it too fast for Frenzy? Alder 2, does, does 20 lands feel like too much in the deck? Hey, what's up, Plumber? Thanks for the tier 1 sub. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, the the 2D stand for donation deck. So they're it's a deck that's um, that a viewer donated to see. So basically, not a deck that I made. All right, so let's add a command. Let's go. This command's gonna be red. Okay. Yeah, the rotation proof to mirror control. I hadn't put it up on stream decker. I think I'm gonna be changing out those decks though. Um, I was I was just gonna be playing the same one that we played like a month ago or so. Like we had a rotation proof to mirror control that we played then, and I was gonna be playing the same one. Um. How do I beat Field of the Dead? Can I ever beat that card? No, I am not making this up as I go. So 
so yeah so if if people ask um about what what deck to play in the new event you can just do you just do exclamation point red and there's the the mono red deck I'm getting too old for this. Let us fight! Come to me! Trust me, I have a plan. Yuck. I can no longer stand Bounces my this dragon. Might be a bad idea. Come on! Ugh. A bold strike. Okay, okay. the skies that no according to plan Let's try this. All right, so they got two cards in hand. Assuming not a land, because I don't think they played a land the other turn. No, I guess they did play a land the other turn, didn't they? Yeah, they did. to them roar <sighs> a challenge I mean I want to play heartwarming redemption but we don't have the bag of holding so like our our deafening clarion leaves okay that's a good one Of course, they can block with Grazer if they wanted to. There goes nothing. If this combo wasn't so annoying, I would. I would have more appreciation for it, but honestly, that is a pretty cool animation for Scape Shift. It's good art on the card and everything, too. But yeah, this is looking pretty good. Sarkin attacking in the air. Got two sweepers now. Settle and Clarion. Yeah, you don't get don't play against very much scape shifts these days, but still see it every every now and again. Hit 
demands power. Here we go. Carry on my wayward son. Bye bye, zombies. Getting rid of Ixalan's binding. So they can cast Crisis again. Does not lose. No, get rid of the Sarkin. I guess my opponent doesn't realize that a dragon does not lose. Do have to be a little worried about Blast Zone. Blast Zone is troublesome. I'll protect you. Hardly my worst defeat. Guess I should have ticked up Sarkin. Ugh. Listen to them roar. Yeah, I guess I need to take up Sarkin. I wish I could cast Heartwarming Redemption. Hey, what's up, Zexian? Thank you so much. That is problematic. I train every day. Keep an open mind. How we like have all these cards that we need. It's looking for a bag of holding. Huh. Sending the planeswalkers to their doom. I've got time. Where's my bag of holding? Settle, of course, is pretty awkward where you know they get lands and get more creatures. They've gone through two they basics time. so far. It's overwhelming.
I want Bag because I can't really cast this card without it. And so I'm just kind of stuck with like a bunch of cards that aren't very good. But I still kind of need. I don't think it's very likely that they have many more Deputy of Detentions. So I'm going to go with the Prison Realm. Just the trick for this. At least we know the bottom of our library isn't very good. It doesn't show us. We got six lands down at the bottom. Prepare. That bag would be really good too, though. But this, if I don't take Chandra, man, this is so hard. Why do, why do I have to have like four really good cards that I'm looking to draw all together? That's really unfortunate. There's three more bags in here. I don't think I can just let all those other ones, like all those other Chandras and everything, just go to the bottom. up here check out these fireworks we're trying to just run our opponent out of lands I guess hmm. sorry I'm late I've got it well that was good for us Wow. It all worked out really well. That was good they didn't... I guess if they bounce Ixalan's Binding or Prison Realm, up for round two. Then I get to recast it. But yeah, so now... Now we get Bag of Holding out here. Let's clear this. So they can't cast a fairy. Aww. Can't cast Gracious. So they're basically just putting lands into play. Oh, they do have more deputies. Well, that's bad. I am not going to sit this one out. That's bad. That's more like it. Right. 
Waiting in the dance hall. This didn't work spectacularly for us. But I definitely want the to ferry out of here. This is hardly my worst defeat. I really don't want them to be able to bounce bag of holding. We found all the bags though. We still got another sweeper with us at all. This is game one. Opponent's at 21 minutes, I'm at 18. It's been a long game. All right, game two. Blood Sun. So they're going to have all of their anti-enchantment stuff. Well, that's just how it is. That was a good game. Uh, I don't know what... I guess we would stack the, the order of the triggers with Bag of Holding, I, I guess. And so we I guess we'd be able to choose which card it gets exiled under. Yeah, I'm not sure. Really enjoy control versus combo matchups. There could be some really good games, like the combo player trying to sneak in their combo and everything, the control player trying not to die. I don't. What am I doing with like the last two slots here? Like this all looks pretty good. Um, the Teferis. I do like not allowing them to instant speed though. The Sarkins. We're on one on one. Yeah, the Sarkins and Chandra's are this deck's win, win cons. Oh no! Yeah, see, Beard of Butte. I okay, so I I didn't know it was playing throughout the entirety of the YouTube vids and stuff. No, so, sometimes people will tell me there's a sound bug going, and so then I, I try to close and re-enter. But yeah, I guess I need to just sideboard faster. If I go to the 30 seconds, then that happens. I need to sideboard faster. The new 4-4 Legendary Beast is an incredibly good magic card. And will be all over standard. Yeah, I bet you. Yeah, I'm sure it's a lot more noticeable on YouTube with no, right on um, with no music there. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I know 88 ways hone your prowess. No, not in modern. No. Four mana is too much for modern. Let's 
let's see. I do want a binding this to fairy. Let's just take the bag. Maybe I should binding to fairy though. Questing Beast is the name of the card. Don't worry, I got this. Put thoughtfulness before action. Yeah, Legacy includes um, all cards printed ever, but has you know has a band band list. Um, but any any cards from any sets are legal in Legacy, and Modern is only cards from Eighth Edition forward. So if they can deal with the Sarkin somehow, then Teferi can get rid of the Blood Sun. And then they can get a whole bunch of zombies. I'm hoping they can't do that all at instant speed. I'm hoping they can't get rid of the, the Blood Sun and make a whole bunch of zombies at instant speed here. Because of course I can't Clarion. At, in, at instant speed. So they could minus to fairy, get rid of Blood Sun, and then escape shift. But I have Clarion for that. If they have another to fairy, though, if they have. If they get to Let's tick up this. and deal with Blood Sun and escape shift at end step, then I'm in trouble. I think I just do the same thing. I, Chandra's not counterable. So I could lead with Chandra. But if they have Aether Gust, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to leave with this. I guess if they had time wipe, we will this again. is the worst play. Like, that's a bad play against time wipe, but I can't imagine it's too likely they have time wipe after sideboarding against the control deck like this. So, fun fact another name for the questing beast in our. Thuian Legend. I think I pronounced that correctly. Is the Glantis the Glantisant? The Gladisant? Arthurian. Okay, there's an R in there. Okay. Arthurian. Okay, that was a misspell. It's all good. Alright, so Krasis, like if they're just you know, trying to get Krasis, Krasis. You know, Narset shuts down Krasis. So we're shutting down their deck pretty good here with the Blood Sun Narset combo. I'm feeling very good about this game. I guess it does mean I need to Nova. I mean, that is still a 7-7. Seven, seven. They are 
coming. So they have another 7 7. Uh, so we're going to be. Uh, um, we're going to be feeling a little bad. I would be able to like attack with the Narset. This isn't a fight you can win. To do four damage to it and then cast Clarion to kill it and then play new Narset. This might be a bad idea. <laughs> Sarkin doesn't have an ultimate. So I only have one actual red sword, so I can't Clarion and Blood Sun, which is what I would like to do. But there's only one land that taps for red mana. So obviously we have to Clarion, otherwise we die. I mean, I, I could just play Chandra minus three instead of Clarion. And then that, that gets Chandra in play. Okay, or we can do that. All right, that works. Well, I guess, all right, I, I took two life I didn't need to. Because I just play Blood Sun first, then the Shock Land comes into play untapped. So I took two life I didn't need to. I'm not sure if that really matters. Obviously it doesn't. My opponent conceded immediately with that show of force. All right, and we are four and one. We are on to the final boss. <clears throat> oh, yeah, could have got the lifelink too. No, life just doesn't really matter. But, yeah, I guess we could have lifelink also. All right, final boss playlist. Here we go. Jeskai Bag of Holding. Oh, time refuses going. Wait, cancel, cancel, cancel. Ugh. I can alt F4. Alright, I'm just going to alt F4. Sorry about the time refuse noise. I can't I can't hear it at all with the music. So you just have to you just have to let me know. I have my like like with just the sound settings that I have. I have my uh game sounds down pretty low. I don't I don't really hear the game sounds. Except for Ashiok. Ashiok is really loud. Well it should be gone now that I shut off Arena. To be gone. I don't love shocking against a basic mountain, but I think it's still the thing to do.
All right, well, I like shocking even less now. In case we draw another interplanar bacon next turn and we can gain two bacon life with Teferi. But I guess I should... Hmm. So is it Bounce Spitfire or Prison Realm Spitfire? I think it's Prison Realm Spitfire. Where if we're not under too much trouble next turn, like maybe with five mana... Maybe with five mana, we can bounce Cavalcade and have Dovin's Veto up to be able to re-counter it. Counter it when it comes back. Maybe. That's... Card's a problem. Gosh, this war boss is just going to kill us so fast, though. War boss gonna kill us so fast. No, that's not ideal at all. Yeah, where you at, Clarion? I got to dig. I got to counter and dig for a Clarion. That would sure be nice. Remember what, we're taking seven here. Responsibility. Here goes nothing. Uh, all right, we're dead. Maybe they won't know it. I'm that's nine on in play right now. All they have to do is attack and I die. You never know, maybe they attack to fairy. This is hardly my worst defeat. Alright, well I think they're attacking me now. Alright, decree binding is awesome. Nova. I don't really mind that card as much. Do wish we had baffling ends. That's for sure. Um, the good part about Teferi, is Teferi does gain life off of Interplanar Beacon.
All right, let's try this. I like this card, but we can't cast Settle, like, ever. Actually, this could work. This could work because of Redemption. We got to just draw a White Source, but Redemption is a nice turn four play because of the life gain. That's not a good draw. Ugh. Yeah, I think the steam vents are the interplanar beacon. That's what it sure looks like. Yeah, I think the steam vents are the interplanar beacon. There are so many hone your prowess. So we saw one white source in there. Yeah, I mean, that, that picture looks like the Steam Vents power. Like, that's... Yeah, it looks like the Steam Vents. That's what Steam Vents look like. You cannot see your folly. Fury will only lead you... We kept the Land Light hands earlier in the game and worked out for us... Or early in the league worked out for us. We're playing 26 lands. Throwing Pokeballs with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome, Throwing Pokeballs. Thanks for that support. I appreciate that. Keep an open mind. Ugh. Two white sources down there. So we know we have three white sources down at the bottom now. We saw three total with the Narset minuses. All right, what do they got for the last four cards? More Spitfires. I really wanted to binding the Cavalcade. I think I was just binding that thing. Gross. Maybe I should have been, maybe I should have just binding cavalcade anyway and just hoped they didn't have a lot of direct damage. Probably not super likely they have a bunch of direct damage. Can't can't get the Chandra. I 
Don't have the mana for settle. This is not looking good for us, to be honest. Not looking good at all. I don't have anything to Narset and Minus. We don't have any cards that cost one or two. We don't have removal spells that cost one or two. Prison Realm only hits uh, creatures and planeswalkers. We can't Prison Realm this thing. Settle the wreckage? No. Ugh, settle so bad against Cavalcade. You know, if I settle next turn, they still get all those triggers and kill us. All right, so it looks like the really big mistake here I made was binding the, the Spitfire. All they had were just other creatures, which I think was, was kind of reasonable that that's all they had were creatures. So if I would have just binding the Cavalcade, um, that would have worked out better for us. And maybe maybe just not cast that Heartwarming Redemption. Like, that's the problem. Like, I needed one more mana for the Chandra, and it turned out we were going to be drawing mana. I think our very first card we saw was the beacon, so we would have drawn mana the next turn. I can't I can't dig anymore. It costs three mana to act to play this other bag and, and activate it, and then I don't have three mana for Clarion. I don't I don't have anything else to dig. You know how they could have killed us with Spitfire with three cards? Just just Lightning Strike, Shock, Lightning Strike. You know, like those cards. You know, just burn spells. But. Oh, that's a good point. They had a lot of elementals out. Not They had the three or four. They had four elementals in play. So, yeah, Chandra Minus. I've heard, yeah, so I, I didn't really even think of that. The Chandra Minus wasn't going to work for us anyway because they had four elementals in play. So, yeah, that would not have worked either. All the, you know, they just had elementals and then more boss and goblins. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess, I guess Heartwarming Redemption was the play. But then we just didn't find what we needed after that. Um, but, yeah, so that's our... That's our uh, Jeskai Bag of Holding deck. Let's get back to the playlist. All right. Um, so with this deck, the I did like the Heartwarming Redemption plus Bag of Holding. I thought that was really nice. But Heartwarming Redemption, when you don't have Bag of Holding, really felt pretty bad because like we needed the cards in hand, um, and so just so a lot of the times like the Heartwarming Redemption was just a dead card in hand because I didn't want to play it because we we didn't want to discard our hand kind of thing so it's like when we had bag this card was pretty good but when we didn't um it was really just like we mulliganed whenever we we're looking at it in hand it, it wasn't a card that we wanted uh syncopate was really bad oh man that card was bad it was unbelievably bad especially against the soul type player i would not play that card again I would much rather have two mana removal. Like that's, I was worried about that before, and I still worried about that. I think this deck needs baffling ends. Like I think this deck can just play four baffling ends. Um, I would, I would get rid of the syncopates, and I would trim like a prison realm. That's three right there, and one of the settles, or something. Yeah, probably a settle. Then you get four, four uh, baffling ends. Um, I think baffling end would have been really good against a lot of our opponents. Think about like the Sultai deck. If, if you know we start baffling ending like their wild growth walkers and 
and uh, Krasis, and even against the Scapeshift deck, Baffling End, the Deputy of Detentions, like whenever they get rid of the enchantment, they don't get Deputy of Detention back. They get a 3-3 back. And it wouldn't have been as big a deal. But then just not, not having two mana removal against the aggro decks is really, really tough. We don't have enough sweepers to make up for it. We have, you know, three Clarions, but honestly, we could use a fourth Clarion also. As far as sideboard goes, Takali Honor Guard isn't necessary at all. I would I would get rid of Honor Guard. Honor Guard does not play well with, you know, like against creature decks, we need to have sweepers. And playing a creature and then playing sweepers doesn't work. And there's just not a whole lot of decks that Honor Guard shuts down anyway. And everybody's playing removal. Um, and, oh, like, the 1-3 body doesn't matter. You know, attacking for one isn't going to win you games. Um, so I would, I would get rid of Honor Guards. Um, besides that... Um, And instead of honor guards, uh, just more, basically just more more removal. Um, having baffling ends will, will help would help, uh, but uh, even like any of the decks that have like the ETB creatures, like the baffling ends will be good against those. You know, getting rid of risen reef and so on. Um, just kind of need removal card draw. I could see some more like. Uh, anti-control stuff in the sideboard. I could see like a couple more like Dovin's Vetoes or um, other Planeswalkers. You know, like Big Teferi is is one, of course. Like other other ways to win mid-range and control matchups in the sideboard instead of those Takali Honor Guards. Uh, if yeah, we don't have a like yeah, I think that would be good because then because then if if you need to cut like the four baffling ends that you have. And like your settles and your clarions, you want enough against like cre against decks that aren't playing creatures. You need enough cards to bring in. So uh, instead of playing honor guards, I'd rather have cards that are good against decks without creatures, because actually we really don't have very much to bring in in those kind of matchups. There. So basically, more more planeswalkers. You had honor guard because of agent of treachery. Agent of treachery is a problem. But I don't think Honor Guard's the solution. I th just play Disdainful Stroke. Yeah, just play Disdainful Strokes. Disdainful Strokes. I mean, it, that's honestly a really good sideboard card right now because that counters your Rock Golos. Um, you know, as we saw, Scape Shift, like a big Crasis, the Nissas, the Tamios, um, and then of course Agent of Treacheries. I think Disdainful Stroke is really good right now. With with a lot of people playing. You know, your rock, Golos, and Agent of Treachery. So that's what I'd recommend there. So yeah, maybe and that's that's good in like those other kind of matchups. So just So yeah, just because that that's good against uh non creature decks also. So disdainful strokes just that's gonna be a lot better than honor guard. You're welcome. Yeah, glad yeah, glad you learned a lot from Watching everything, and then yeah, if we get honor guards in here, get rid of this card, get rid of one of these, and like one of those. Yeah, I think that that would help out a lot. All right, so that's Just Guy Holding. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. But thanks for watching. I'm Just Guy Holding, and I'll see you for the next video.